Alrighty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. A fellow guide here in New York City asked me to do a piece about the cloisters, and I you know, put it on the list of requests and didn't think a lot of it until it occurred to me that today is the perfect day to talk about the cloisters because it's April Fool's Day. Now, why would I say that? There's certainly nothing foolish about a visit to the cloisters. It's a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. But to look at the building, one would imagine that it was an old church, you know, monastery that was converted to be used for something else. And one would be wrong, because in fact, it was commissioned, constructed, and opened in the 1930s for precisely the function it serves today, and that is to be a museum to showcase medieval art. But even that isn't 100% correct. So there's a little bit more April fooling going on because the building materials from which the cloisters are constructed are disassembled pieces of three separate medieval French monasteries. So the cloisters aren't, but they are. Uh, now, it's a wonderful, wonderful art institute, and it is part of the institution that is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's not on the location of uh, the museum that we all know on Fifth Avenue, uh, but it is under the auspices of the Met Museum. And the cloisters are all about medieval art, everything that predates the Renaissance, which really is beautifully showcased at the Met itself. Uh, so if you're looking for Byzantine, if you are looking for Romanesque, if you're looking for Gothic, the cloisters, that's your place. And while they have wonderful sculptures and paintings in the early days of painting, before a lot of the paintings that we tend to think of, and they have wonderful tapestries, uh, which are probably the most medieval of all medieval art forms, these tapestries that are woven in wool and silk and metallic threads. But the best exhibits are actually part of the building itself. Uh, the doorways, the arches, and somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 separate panels of stained glass. The cloisters also feature three separate gardens that specialize in plants that would have been gardened traditionally in the Middle Ages, and the horticulturalists who maintain these gardens are historians and researchers in their own right. So they often make a point of maintaining a medieval gardening style in order to keep the authenticity of the gardens going. The Rockefeller family was very influential in establishing the cloisters. And John D. Rockefeller, one of the things that he did was he purchased miles and miles of land on the New Jersey Palisades right across the river in order to make sure that the view from the cloisters would remain unspoilt. Now, the cloisters are located way up north in Fort Tryon Park, pretty far away from a lot of the other big tourist attractions of the city. But the park itself and certainly the cloisters are definitely worth a visit, especially if you start to get that feeling of being overwhelmed by the hustle and bustle of Midtown. Uh, the cloisters become a nice quiet refuge from all of that. And it's definitely not something that you want to, you know, stick in between a couple of other attractions, you want to really devote a leisurely afternoon to enjoying the cloisters. You stroll through the cloisters. You don't rush through them, uh, um, unless you want to ruin the experience. But I recommend strolling and not rushing uh, through the cloisters. And if you bring kids to the cloisters, they have a wonderful scavenger hunt when you collect a you know, paper with your uh, museum map at the beginning. Uh, and the scavenger hunt, that sense of looking for very specific artifacts, really makes it fun for the kids as well. Uh, if you would like to see some of the great out-of-the-way places, some of the best-kept secrets of New York, like the Cloisters, 
once the time has come that we are able to see these things in person, please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook, or you can email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.